been a boxing fan all my life. It's only right that I step between the ropes. You can't play boxing, it's not a joke. Started out, them gloves are really heavy. All my street fights couldn't get me ready. For this world of pain and punishment, I'm loving it. Where should I begin? After the heavy bag hit the double end. So last time we touched on the half guard boxing stance, which is a little more defensive than the full guard boxing stance, which is what we're going to get into today. Now, of course, there's some basic differences between the full guard boxing stance and the half guard boxing stance. And most of that has to do with how you position your upper body, which I'll show you in a little bit. Now the full guard boxing stance, just a little quick breakdown, some of the benefits or flaws, you know, got to give you both, you know, gives you a full target as well as making you a full target to your opponent, makes punching easier with both hands because you're not hiding anything, it also allows you to close distance a lot better. Alright, so we're going to have PJ in the red demonstrate to give you all a visual example of what I'm saying. Alright, so hands down, no guard. Hands up, full guard. Alright. You don't want to square up, so you always have one foot behind yourself for balance and support. So you have a strong foundation. Because, you know, bad balance leads to knockdowns. And you don't want to have that. So that's much better right here. You can still keep your distance. Just have your hands up. You're not squared up. And you know, just feel for the opponent. You know, both hands are up. You're moving slightly, making little subtle movements with your arms and your forearms and your hands to pick up shots. And you see my man PJ moving around the room. He knows where he's at, he's calm. And since both hands are already up, you're already in the full guard position. Use both hands to block punches. You know, it's as simple as that. You can even walk them down, try to pick your shots. You know, if you're not trying to throw the jab out there yet, you know, just full guard and press forward. Or you could, you know, slip the jab and get in there. Slip the right hand, all with the full guard. You know, if you're trying to close the distance on your opponent, you know, you can do both with full guard. And you can jab your way in, slip your way in, and go right back to full guard. And just like in half guard, you can still work your pivots. Now you see my man Aaron over here using the full guard. He widens his stance so he can brace for the shots a little better, but it still allows him to press forward, which is what you want to do in the full guard. And like I said earlier, you can slip, jab your way in, a whole bunch of different ways you can do this. And from there, you can see him pressure PJ around the cage without even using a jab, just using full guard boxing stance. Just some last minute takeaways, you know, with the full guard boxing stance. One thing to keep in mind with the full guard boxing stance is that the defense mostly consists of your upper body movements. Like the parrying, the blocking, the hand position, how tight your guard is, head movement, things like that. Now, don't get me wrong, the footwork, the pivots, that's all important as well. But not like how it is with the half guard boxing stance. Because with the half guard boxing stance, you're already naturally at an angle. So the pivot just comes out easy, it's just natural. Whereas full guard boxing stance, you're not really at an angle. You feet are, but not, not your upper half. Not your top half of your body, so that's why, you know, the head movement, the, the blocking, all that shit gotta be on point, you know, in the full guard boxing stance. But, you know, you 
can have good defense in the full guard boxing stance. I've seen it happen. I've seen it done. Just, you know, it takes practice. Alright, so that's it for this video on the full guard boxing stance. Y'all just stay tuned. Make sure you follow us on IG, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, RingGangRadio.com. Special shout out to Aaron for helping my boy PJ out with the video. Shout out to the rest of the crew, RingGangRadio.com. Big Pat, Big Rome, Clanarchy on the beat, Prolific Genius One. You already know this Shuttleworth, the GOAT artist, RingGangRadio.com. More training footage on the way. Stay tuned.